next we have uh, our panel uh, and just let me put on the screen so that you can see who who else is with us stood here uh, from Lenskart and Abhinav from Cars24 uh, and Dharmesh uh, remains with us again from Cancer as you just saw and heard. Uh, so, uh, so I have, uh, you know, a bunch of questions to ask Sudhir and to ask Abhinav, uh, especially because you guys have been here, uh, for a little while now, and you are, uh, expanding aggressively, uh, from what I can see and what the, mar and you know, what the market, uh, trends look like. Uh, it looks like that, uh, you know, you've established a solid base in, in the region, uh, especially in the UAE and you're looking to expand further and when we sort of asked this question to ourselves as to why don't more indian startups come to the uae we started to look for data and we found uh, you know some 40 or 50 odd indian startups which have entered uh, the middle east over the last few years uh, so and most of them have expanded into the uae and some into saudi arabia as well and very occasionally into other countries in, in, in the region. Uh, I mean, the only startup from India, which I know in Egypt is, uh, zoom car. Uh, so in, in, in your view, uh, Abhinav, Sudhir and Dharmesh, uh, why don't more Indian startups look at, you know, the MENA region? I mean, beyond just the fact that the scale is not there. I mean, from our conversations with certain unicorns in India, they said that, Hey, you know, why don't I just expand into, you know, a, a Vishakapatnam and that would cover, you know, the size of Bahrain or whatever. Uh, sure. Yeah. I think you know, when you're looking at market sizing, you need to look at the P's and the Q's, right? So <laughs> it's, it's both price and quantity. Yeah. I think people put a few things wrong, right? One is that the price here, ASP is here is maybe, um, three, four X of India in most mm -hmm. cases, right? Mm -hmm. And most people don't realize that unless they come to this market, number one, number two, People get put off by the size of the UAE population, but UAE is really a gateway market. Yeah. Right. The rest Absolutely. of the market is much 100%. bigger. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. And if you look at the the Mina region, it's four hundred and fifty million people, mm -hmm. right? And if four hundred fifty million people, and if it's four X in terms of price, yeah, then it's bigger than the Indian market, mm -hmm. right? But you need to do it right, and you need to uh, be willing to set up and and commit for the long term. You mm -hmm. can't just uh, um, you can't look at uh, look at the Middle East as though you're looking at Asia and just set up in Singapore, yeah. right? Yeah. But most people want to do that. It's sort of Dubai is Middle East for beginners, mm -hmm. right? But <laughs> the Middle East is much bigger than that. Yes, absolutely, I agree. Uh, Dharmesh, you you were also in agreement with what Sudhir just said. Oh, completely. Our, our approach was always UAE first yeah. because it's the gateway, mm -hmm. uh, as he said. You know, it's. It's where, for, for, for our particular service, it is a health tourism, the, you know, sort of spot mm -hmm. for people from Saudi, from the other MENA countries to come to. Yeah. But it's, yeah. it's part of your learning curve. And mm -hmm. if, you, if you're a company from India wanting to expand mm -hmm. globally, I think it's a great way to learn. It's a great place to take your first international step. Yeah. Because from then, you can then learn and adapt and move mm -hmm. into Europe or the USA or wherever. Yeah, or, or even Africa. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, I mean, we see that the next one billion people coming online and using the internet are going to come from you know mid the Middle East and Africa. So that that is you know a similar market size or maybe even slightly bigger than the India C that I was speaking about earlier. Uh, so to take advantage of that, uh, I mean, I agree that you know the UAE has to be the, the first home base uh, for Indian uh, startups to expand into the region. And, and use it as a launch pad, which is what we sort of, you know, emphasize again to the startups that we support that the UAE is a great launch pad for, for Indian startups uh, to access the rest of the region. Uh, because again, you have, you know, large expat populations from all over the region as well. So that can help you connect, that can exactly. help you spot the correct people and, and help them help connect to those markets as well. 